hello <laughs> welcome to my first ever nesting video personally i think i'm like a nester by personality i love things to be clean and organized set in a certain way it's how i set up my whole house but today's video is a little bit different i okay i'll be honest i didn't know how to do a nesting video without revealing the gender of my baby so you're gonna see what we're having in today's video i was really on the fence with this but recently found another youtube mom who just had a baby in november and i think she does a spectacular job of keeping her baby's privacy private and it just like i don't know seeing how she did it made me like so happy everyone knows the gender of her baby they never see the face they don't know its name she has baby like in her content she's been sharing about baby but whenever baby's in like the frame you never see it's a boy you never see his face and i just think like that's such a beautiful thing for the internet it's just not exploit your baby that was like my biggest thing so you are going to see what we are having i'll let you know right now this is the only gender we have for our embryos because we did ivf we lost our only other opposite embryo um that is the one that we lost around because we had twins around like the between eight weeks eight and nine so you are going to see what the gender is so if you clicked on today's video you are lucky but we're going to just start downstairs come upstairs i have i feel like i have a lot to do and i'm doing it like a little bit at a time i'm currently 26 weeks pregnant and the reason i'm starting like early compared to I feel like most people who do nesting is because I am at risk for preterm labor and I want to have everything done but also like it's my personality so I know I've gotten a lot of comments on Instagram saying people are like oh you don't start nesting till like week 35 you can nest whenever the heck you want okay if you want to nest at week 10 go for it I don't care I want to be ready good to go I don't want to be like at the end of my pregnancy be like oh we have a lot to do I'm also going to share with you in today's video a ton of stuff that we have uh, in our garage. We just had a baby shower not too long ago. We also did that early and I found like the best hack for getting baby things for cheap. So if something like this in your area, I'm going to share it throughout this video, but I'm going to share with you like all the things that we have to do this weekend. Like I said, I'm just doing it a little here and there. I mean, I feel like if you do it that way, it's not so overwhelming. So let's go into the nursery. Actually, let's start downstairs with some bottle washing and set up and then we're going to go into the nursery and start washing some clothes and sheets and get all that stuff done. I really quickly wanted to finish getting my thank you notes out for my baby shower. I just had to put stamps on these. I finished them off this weekend and I wanted to get them out. So I'm doing that really quickly. But if you want to know the definition of nesting, there is no time frame on it. It's just the urge to clean and organize known as nesting. Nesting during your pregnancy is the overwhelming desire to get your home ready for a new baby. This instinct is usually the strongest in later weeks to come before delivery. It's an old wives tale that once you start nesting, labor is about to come. Um, I don't think I'm about to labor. I think it's just my personality. Like I said, our entire home is very clean and organized and I get like... <laughs> I get some rude comments here or there from people who are like, I can't wait till you have a baby so I can see your house be messy so you're more relatable. Um, I did not grow up in a messy house. I grew up in one of those super sterile homes of the 90s where everything was always put away. Everything was in a spot. I like to tell people, I think the definition of how I like to do things is a ladybug. Everything's behind closed doors. Everything you know, might be even a little bit messy behind closed doors, typically organized. Sometimes it could be a little messy. That's just my personality. I get it from my own mother. So doubtful that my house will look chaotic and crazy when a baby comes because that's just not how I can live my life. So yeah, I've had more than one of those comments on my channel and I'm like, mm, I always tell you guys this because you guys don't know a lot about my actual life other than what I choose to share, but this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> so, okay, some hacks I'm going to talk about here. This bottle washer excuse me, dryer rack. The bottle dryer rack is from, I think, Ubi. Originally, if you look on Amazon, it's $20, $25, depending if you buy it in store or get it on Amazon. Place kind of fluctuates a little bit. I got it for $6 at a baby retail store. And these bottles, only one pack that I'm about to show you, I got off my registry and it was full price. The rest of them came from the baby retail store, like these right here. That was... 
$2 and they're brand new. This Dr. Brown's box was $2. The little one on the side was actually in a, a baby box that I got. This one was 99 cents. The nipples were 99 cents. As you can see, that's way cheaper. This bottle was 99 cents than you're going to find anywhere. The Tommy Tippies, I believe I paid $2 for those. And this is the only box that was paid full price for was on my registry. Why did I get all these bottles? Oh, that was another thing that I got from my registry. Why did I get all these? Especially the ones that she's not going to use for a while. Because baby, I think, goes the best picking its own nipple and its own bottle. All of them flow a little bit differently. I did get some colic ones. I took a, like, well, I didn't take a poll. I asked on Instagram what people's favorites were. Um, there are certain ones that I have used in the past before. I'd never used the Tommy's Tippies and I've never used the Dr. Brown's. So I saw them on sale and I thought, you know what? Well, not sale. I got them at a resale store, new in box. And I thought, you know what? For a couple of dollars, she can pick her own bottle and then we'll go from there. If she really desires one nipple over the other, then we know we can go with that one. But they're super inexpensive. Why not? So I know that, okay, the resale store we go to is Mommy and Mommy and Me? No, Me and Mommy to Be. <laughs> That's what it's called. Um, I do know that they do ship um, so I can leave their uh, website down below. Everything over $125 ships for free, except I think big furniture items. You're also going to see the crazy amazing deal I got on a crib later in today's video. But if you're just like, don't have like a once upon a child or any kind of consignment resale stop shop like this, most, I would say like 80% of the store's inventory is brand new. They have some used items, but like clothes and stuff, but strollers, car seats, um, big furnitures, um, things like that, that you kind of want to be new with the warranty still attached comes with warranty. So I am obsessed with the store. I've been there one too many times. I have a list. <laughs> every time I go in, I have a list. I keep, um, an eye on their website every few days of like the new things that they get in every day because they post them on their website. Yeah, it's just wonderful. So you saw that I use the draft, um, baby soap, personal preference, use whatever the heck you want. I don't care. I like that soap for both my detergent and my bottles. Um, I also use it for my pump. So I'm soaking. You still have to, I think there's like a big misconception. You still have to like scrub and soak your bottles, even if you use a sanitizer. So like, and a big thing with Instagram is people are like, oh, the Dr. Browns are so many pieces. I don't feel like they are. I know there's other colicky, you know, bottles that are probably like easier to use, but these just come really highly recommended. And for NICU babies, this is what they use. So I wanted to have a few on hand. I am hoping not to have a NICU baby, but I am at risk for preterm labor. So we're just over here doing our best to get ready. So one day we're not like, oh, there's a baby here. Obviously, if she's in the NICU, it'll um, she won't be home for a while. But I'm again, I'm not going to apologize for getting these things done because it's who I am. I am not the person to drag my feet and wait to the last moment. I am the person that gets everything done. I have a ton of energy. Let's go. I will say that's one nice thing about being out of that first trimester. Ooh, that energy kick that you get in the second trimester, it like brought me back to life. I didn't know who I was in the first trimester. Between the puke and the tiredness and the tears and the emotions, it uh, showed and revealed a new me. But here we go, just getting these bottles and everything washed and ready to go. And then I'll put them back into the cupboard in some organizers here in a little bit. But this is just so fun for me. Do you guys love nesting videos? Do you love cleaning, organizing videos? Are you excited to see more? Because there is so much more of this content coming to this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and um, let's continue on with the day. Okay, this is a little chaotic in here for me, but we I wanted to show you the layout. I think I did this in a recent video. So originally, we were going to do a chair right here, a dresser right here with a changing table, and then a crib right here. Well, we decided to just do an extremely large crib with a changing table on top. I'll explain to that later. And then just do a chair here. This room is like decently big. It would definitely fit like a queen bed comfortably with one... Uh, like end table, but we're gonna do it so there's like a play area too. So things that I have in here, this still hasn't been hung in the bathroom. We're doing that this weekend. Keep me accountable, it needs to be done. Um, we have this little horse, which is not gonna stay right there. It's gonna be moved. It'll probably go in our loft, but for right now it's there. We have a ton of her toys <laughs> from the baby shower. I swear everyone got her a toy and clothes. <laughs> That's what everybody got. 
skip the registry. We're just gonna get toys and clothes. So I have another basket. Um, this I talked about, I actually redid this. I shared it, I think, in a video recently. It was a teal color. It was just not my vibe. The colors um, for the nursery are kind of going off of this with a little bit of mauve pink. I found this at Target in the dollar section for $5. And I thought that was so beautiful. So I kind of, it was like an inspiration for my colors. Also, this is from the Target dollar section. This is also like $5, this little rainbow basket. And I thought it'd be so cute to put like bows in. So, but this is, go this needs also a lamp yet. So lamp will go here. And then when we're in the nursery, we can like plug our phone in, etc. Um, in these, I have some bows and this is the original color, that teal color right there. It's just not, not to my taste. In here, I have some more things that need washed. So I'm gonna pull this out. Um, bibs, tights, hats, that all needs washed. And in there is gift cards and cards that like we got from our baby shower that I wanna keep. And I got these also. I don't think these are gonna fit. I think these are the same ones actually, the pink and the green. But these are gonna either end up being going downstairs for bottle things or in her drawers right here. I have two of these chain, or uh, I almost called it changing mat. Playstations, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. Plus, she's getting a built-in best friend. My bestie is pregnant, so I, a lot of things I like doubled up on. So that way, when we're hanging out, she doesn't have to bring stuff over. I don't know. It was just it just worked for us. So I have two of these: one for upstairs, one for downstairs. This will most likely go in the loft, and then I'll set the other one out downstairs. So what we are working on is, I'm telling you. The amount of clothes this girl got at the baby shower, she will never be not well-dressed. I mean, look at this, look at this. So I'm gonna take the tags off everything and wash it. I know a lot of people don't do this. They wait until baby is of size. Listen, like, if she's gonna wear it all. I will send pictures to the people that gifted it. She will wear every single piece. I know you guys are probably giving me the side eye right now, laughing to yourself on your computer. Girl's gonna wear it all, okay? <laughs> I don't care what you guys think and if not it's okay I would rather have the tags off and ready to go because the same my first rodeo um, just how I want to do things I have socks I have this and then I have a pile of blankets a sweet sweet friend made her this blanket I have towels sheets a bunch of stuff that we need to wash and then as far as her closet goes we are gonna do extended um, shelves in here so there's a shelf here we'll probably add another one a medium one but for now this is what we got going on i'll give a little rundown of what's in here my diaper bag which i got super cheap i think i paid ten dollars for that at the resale store i have two three diaper caddies this is actually going to be my postpartum caddy um i know a lot of people do the uh like three tier roller thing. I'm actually gonna do this. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep it in the bathroom um, with me because we'll probably have company and I just feel like this is just, this is just for me. Like you do whatever works for you. This is what I'm doing for me. And then, yeah. But I got this one and this one from, well, I got all three of them from our uh, baby shower. This one has things in it already. So does this one, not completely set up, but I did put things in it and some of them came with things. This is another, PlayStation. That Merlin suit right there, I got at the resale store. It's new with tags. I do need to wash that too. It's new with tags. Typically those are like between $40 and $50 depending on which store you get them at, Amazon, etc. I paid $9.99 for that new with tags. Such a steal. Got her some hangers. Up at the top are like shoes, books. Uh, I have some extra pull-ups up there, but she's obviously not going to be in those for a minute. On this side, right now, I have all my stash of extra diapers starting with newborns and ones and then twos and threes and wipes. I just kind of have like a stash. No, I'm not doing washable diapers. It's just not my personality. Yes, I have a preference of diapers. Again, not my first rodeo. I know what I like. Um, we have a game, this cute little sign from the baby shower. And then like up there, my pump, some toys, extra newborn diapers. Cause we don't know if we're gonna use those depending on how big she is. So we kept them closed in case we need to return them or if we can gift them to our friend that's pregnant. And then on this wall, I'm going to hang bookshelves, I think for her books, or I'm gonna do it on this wall. I don't know. Cause this is gonna be like the play area and I don't want anything to fall. This seems 
we'll figure it out, but I have some floating shelves. So let's get started. I'm out of breath <laughs> because I'm congested. I don't think it's pregnancy, I think it's congestion on all of this and we'll get this into the washer and then we can get it hung up and put away. So yeah, she won't have a dresser, but she's gonna have extra stuff in her closet and I might end up putting a dresser on this side eventually, but just kind of keeping the room open and spacious, just personal preference. I know by now a lot of you have commented, I knew it, I knew it was a girl, I could tell how sick you were, blah, 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 blah. You guys, you better play the lottery because you had a one out of two chance of getting that right. <laughs> I will say that none of my friends that are have had girls or like, oh, okay, I'll go back. I, it's mix, okay? Just because you're sick doesn't mean you're having a girl, okay? I have friends that have had boys that were sick the entire nine months. I've had friends that have had girls that were never sick. It's really dependent on your body. And with IVF pregnancies, you tend to be more sick because of the meds. Everyone that I know that's done an IVF pregnancy has really had a hard time, especially in the first 20 weeks. Because your body's hormones aren't naturally raising, they're forced to raise because of the medications. So please don't leave comments like, I knew it, blah, blah, blah. Nobody knew anything. I mean, you had a, a one to two chance of guessing correctly. But yes, we only had one boy embryo. It's really unfortunate that we lost him. I have had crude comments from family members that they're like, well, if you want a boy, just harvest more eggs. Yes, I will just spend another $22,000 to do another egg retrieval. Yeah, just, I, I think people don't think logically when they say those things out loud. Plus, we have more embryos. I'm not just going to say, oh, I don't want to use these embryos because I really want a boy. That was a huge part of the grieving process for me. So if now, now you know, now you know, that was like huge for me in being like, okay, I have to grieve the fact that we're never going to have a boy because we have enough embryos. This is what we're going to use to grow our family. So... Yeah. Mama bear protection is also a huge thing that I realized I didn't know I was going to have sharing things on the internet. I'm typically a very private person. I don't really actually share a lot about myself. People, I think, conceive the perception that they have based on what they presumably watch, but I don't actually share a lot about myself. I share a lot of meals. I shared our IVF. I share a lot of like factual things, but not a, per a lot of personal things. So I feel like people think that they know me, but they actually don't, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm not one of those YouTubers that vlogs and like shares every aspect of my life. I don't like watching those types of channels. I don't like sharing that type of content. So Mama Bear Protector came in right after we lost our boy. And yeah, I'm like slowly getting into the fact that like, okay, is a gender really a big deal? No, but I don't really personally want to put my baby on the internet and, you know, use her for content and all those things. Like me washing baby clothes and nesting, that is part of my journey, not part of her journey. So hopefully you can see the difference. I might be alone in this world, but I love washing clothes. I'm not the person that leaves them in the washer for three or four days and then has to rewash them and then they sit in the dryer. No, I like doing clothes. Also, I don't have a sock bag yet. So I did throw the socks in here. It wasn't a big deal. It was really easy since I had sheets um, to find them, but I will eventually get a sock bag because, you know, newborn socks are hard to find. All right, I'm heading out to my garage. I also gotta get the sweatshirt off. I'm overheating. I'm gonna put this in the garage and I'm gonna store it so I don't have to, if I wanna resell it later or keep it, I don't know. I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna keep this. I'm also getting a bottle of sanitizer, but you still have to wash your bottles before you sanitize them. It's just the best thing to do. So I'm gonna share with you all the cool stuff that we have found or that we have gotten and our amazing crib deal. It's all in the garage. There's a lot of baby stuff in there. We're gonna hopefully get to it this weekend. <laughs> if not, we have time, but definitely that crib's going up this weekend. Even though she won't sleep in it until she's at least six months, if not more, I do have a bassinet also coming this weekend. So we just wanna put it together and get it all set because no one wants to do that when you're ready to go into it. You want everything set up and ready to go. Okay, I have two baby car mirrors. I know everyone is suggesting to do the, um, the car camera. I'm on the fence with it because we're not traveling a lot. If we travel with her, she like passed in Vegas because we live in Las Vegas and we fly we probably won't be driving, we'll probably be flying. So I just got these. I'm on the fence with getting the car camera one. To me, when they're really, really little, as long as they have socks on their feet or 
like anything that they can get into. I just like don't see it as a necessity. If you do, that's great. But I got these um, at Target, $13. Our Maxi Cozy, which I'm like obsessed with this brand, the Cory 2-in-1 Rocker. This was a baby shower gift. Underneath here is a car seat, also a baby shower gift. Over here we have a high chair and a Lalo, which baby shower gifts. Um, and here's our crib. I think that's what I have out here. I'm double checking. Yes, okay, so here's our crib. This is from Delta Children, which I didn't know about until they actually reached out to me and I declined working with them because I had another crib picked out. I actually really wanted the Baby baby Leto Yuza 8 and one I love the transitioning cribs. I love that I went from a bassinet to a crib. I had my heart set on this one. But they had the Sage out of stock for so long, it just came back into stock last week. So I was like, mm, we'll see. So we went to this baby store here in Vegas. It's like a resale store, but most of the items, like cribs, car seats, strollers, um, things that you really want to be brand new, even a lot of their clothes and stuff is brand new. And so this is a $409 crib. We got it for $149. And it's big. It's really big compared to what I wanted. But if you can see here, I'll pop a picture on the screen too. It is a crib plus it has the changing table and it has a drawer and then you can put like a basket right here. I actually really love it. I love that it's white, it's clean, it's modern and it is a four in one if I'm correct. Crib and changer, I believe it's a four in one. What's it say on the top of the box? A five in one. So this will transition as, you know, toddler bed all the way up to a twin. So this is gonna be put together this weekend. My husband was gonna do it last weekend when he picked it up but it got a little late, but I just thought for that price, like honestly, I couldn't pass it up. Sure, it's not the one that I originally wanted, but I think it's gonna work great, so we're excited about it.